What's going on, guys? Today we're going to do Prometheus. Yes, I saw this movie, and yes, it is epic. Okay? Now, first off, I'm going to say this is not a prequel to Alien. And I'm going to explain why at the end of the video. Okay, so on the ship Prometheus, there's a crew of 17 people, of course. And you have your crew of um, scientists, like a group of scientists, who are convinced that on this distant planet, LV-223, that we have, they have found what created the human race. So they decide to go in there and say, hey, why did you create us? And shit like that. And you know, you know a good typical sci-fi horror film. Shit happens as people start to die. And it is awesome, okay? Um, not a lot of gore, though, which is kind of disappointing, because I want to see some gore, but he's got, that, that, that's the point. I want to see people die, that's awesome, okay? But, it's not just that. That story was kick-ass. I like how they say, well, there's no God. They don't even mention a God. They was like, well, these, they call them engineers. So, they just say, the engineers are the sole creator of us, you know? So, they, like, invest a trillion dollars to go find the truth out. But, you know, shit don't go as well as they plan. And, yeah, let the, let the insanity begin. Now, first off, I gotta say, this movie is... It's just what I expected it to be. It's not like everybody was expecting, oh, it's going to be from Alien. It's going to be from Alien, Alien, Alien. Not exactly, okay? Because here's why. Alien and Aliens take place on planet LV-426. This is LV-4, I mean, 223, okay? There's no way it can be tied into Aliens anyway, in any way, Unless they make a Prometheus 2. And yes, they do leave it off for a Prometheus 2. Okay. Now for the the, uh, the cast. Okay, first off, we're going to go with the two main standouts here. Charis Theron. She is fucking amazing, man. This is the second movie she's played a fucking bitch. She is a straight up bitch. <laughs> I wanted to fucking kill her. <laughs> oh man, and the second one is Michael Fassbender. He plays a synthetic android. I called it when I saw that trailer at the Prometheus premiere two months back. I, uh, not two months back, two or three months back. I called it, and I was right. And I'm so glad I was right because Michael Fassbender. Oh my God, this dude, this dude is awesome. Okay, you believe he was a fucking android? Okay, the way he walked, the way he spoke, the way he looked. Okay. But it's not just like him being a robot. He takes care of his appearance. He fixes his hair. He does all this other human shit. Yeah, but the only thing he doesn't have is emotion. So you kind of feel for the the guy. You kind of feel for the android on that one. But, yeah. <laughs> Those are the two main standouts. Numi Rapace, yeah, she's alright. But, mm, I was hoping she would have got like... A creature popping out of her chest, which almost happened, but didn't. Spoiler alert, by the way. I'm sorry about that one. But that's the only spoiler, okay? But the ending, okay? I'm not going to say what the ending reveals, but Alien fans are going to rejoice. Because I sure as hell know everybody in my fucking theater, IMAX theater, because I've seen this in IMAX 3D, rejoiced when they saw that. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait for the second one. Now, the third thing, the IMAX. IMAX was loud. It was awesome. It's just what IMAX is. And the 3D, the 3D was phenomenal, okay? And I don't say that much way about 3D movies. I don't even like 3D movies. Only if the movie is shot in 3D. Really, Scott shot this movie in 3D, and you can fucking tell. It is good. The, the 3D is awesome. This is the best 3D I've ever seen since uh, Avatar, pretty much, okay? And I like that. So, I'm giving... Prometheus, a solid A+. Plus. You really need to go see this movie right now. I'm not bullshitting. Okay? <laughs> and, oh, and go see it in IMAX. D just do yourself that favor. Just, just IMAX that shit. IMAX the hell out of it. Alright? So, let me know below. What did y'all think of this movie? Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Because critics hate this movie. Critics. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Oh yeah, y'all like bull crap. Y'all don't like good shit. I'm sorry. But, yeah... So, um, yeah, that's that review. I'm going to have an unboxing next, so stay tuned for that. 
Later.